Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of our lovely and amazing Zelda series. I don't know why I keep saying that at like the beginning of the episode. It's the second time now, just saying something to describe it, I guess. I don't know, but anyways, um, what we're going to be doing today is we're gonna hopefully beat one of, or at least one of these three dungeons, and that is level 7, 5, and 6. Don't know why I put them in that order, because they're all right next to each other. Am I slowly going insane? I have no idea. But, um, first, we're gonna kick off the episode by explaining why we actually need to go beat all these levels. Because I said, I literally just said, like, at the beginning of the series, we need all the Triforce pieces to get into level 9. So, I'm actually, instead of just telling you, why not show you? Anyways, level 9 can be located on the northwestern area of the map. At least for this quest, I believe it, I, yeah, I think it might be the same for, um, quest 2. I don't know a whole lot about quest 2. I've only played quest 2, like, once, and i played quest 1, like, a billion times, honestly at this point. We're also very low on health. That is not nice. Anyways, in the last episode, we got this magic wand here, which, using it, we can shoot fire, basically. Or, not really fire, but, you know what I mean. We can shoot stuff at people now. It doesn't just freeze them, it actually does any- it actually does some damage, so. Anyways, yeah, this is the northwestern area of the map. This is, like, the most northwest you can go. Alright, give me a minute, guys. I need to locate the place. Alright, so right here on this screen, it looks like just really an ordinary screen with a whole bunch of enemies He's just everywhere, as per usual. We've seen that a lot. There is a secret, and that secret is level 9. Yeah, so in this rock right here, if you take a bomb, place it right there. Never mind, it is not that rock. <laughs> Let's try this rock then. There we go. This is where you'll find level 9. And as you can see, it's just literally just one room here that we can access pretty much. One room. New doorways going off of this room. Has its own, actually, unique soundtrack, too. This level is huge. And basically, this guy is the one who wants the Triforce. So, uh, yeah, an old man is stopping us from, from advancing without Triforce, I guess. Um, for obvious gameplay purposes. But yeah, that's basically that explained. This dungeon, as I said before, is the biggest in the game, actually. And it is quite crazy. We might actually have to dedicate multiple episodes to it. We'll be glad headed back there. Anyways, that just about wraps up that little segment right there. So that was what we could see of level 9. And this is the main episode. Welcome. So the first place we're gonna head right off the bat is we're gonna go to a shop. But not just any kind of shop. A shop that sells arrows. Because in the last episode... We got the bow, but the bow is useless without the arrow. We're gonna need this to defeat a certain enemy where we're gonna head next. And that'll be level 5. Alright, so here's a shop, but it doesn't have the item we want. Which is, um, inconvenient. Alright, here is another shop right here. This one's a little more useful than, than the last one. We're gonna need this item right here. This is, um, the enemy bait. I don't think it actually works, but we need it. Because we need it to pass a certain area in a level 7, which hopefully we'll get to in this episode, but not an arrow exactly. Alright, here's another shop and this one's got the arrow, and we're a little poorer than usual now, we only have 75 rupees, but no worries, this is all for the progression of the game, folks. Now we're gonna head off in the northeast direction to level 5, because you can't access level 7 without going to level 5. Basically inside a level 5, there's this very important item called the flute, and that's basically an item you need to access level 7. It uncovers a secret, basically. Oh yeah, and for those of you who are new, um, we're going to level 7, despite not beating level 6. Um, which is possible in this game, I just love playing it the wrong way. Anyways, level 5 should be right over in this direction. Alright, so right above this area, this is actually another unique area, similar to the Forest of Confusion from earlier. This repeats infinitely, both up and down, but if you go up, I believe, three or four times, you'll go to level five. Kinda like that. Not really sure how that works, but here we are. Now this, in my opinion, is one of the hardest dungeons in the entire game. And basically, we have a lot of those blue dark nuts in here. This is also the first time you encounter the mummies, too. Anyways, those dark nuts, they're pretty much guarding the flute. And there are two rooms worth of them. Fortunately, there are no fuzzies to take away our sword for a few seconds. Anyway, it should be right inside this room, I believe. Yep, this is the room. 
And this, these guys, these are all our friends, totally. We're gonna try to take as many of them out as we can. These guys are no joke, but luckily our sword is doing very well against them. Unfortunately, there's still another room after this. Anyways, can't remember whether we're supposed to go left or down. I'm gonna try left and see what happens. Yep, this is the correct room. Here are more of these friendly guys. These amazing people. Be gone, you fiend. Now. Push that block, and there's the flute. Pick that up. Now we can get out of here, but first, there is something else I want to check here. Basically, there's kind of a shop in here, in a way. It's only one item. It's run by our lovely friend, the old man. And I believe it is in the room to the right of this room right here. Place that bomb. There we go, break down that wall. Here we are. Anyways, this guy is gonna give us more bombs. But not in the way you may think. You'd think that's a complete scam, obviously you can buy bombs for 20 rupees, but this guy is gonna let us hold more bombs, so... Yeah, we can't afford it right now, but I think I'm going to go grind some enemies and then we'll come back here. While the dark nuts are all gone. So I'll see you in a little bit. A few moments later. Alright, and sometime later we now have 101 rupees. That's enough. Now while I was grinding, I kind of uh, made a mistake with the dark nuts. They did indeed respawn, um, but that's kind of where we got a portion of the money from, so I'm not too mad about that. They did take out some of our hearts, but no biggie. And also, I kind of figured, you know what, we're pretty far into this dungeon. We're gonna beat the boss in this dungeon so we can knock out our first one. Possibly take out level 6 and 7 in this episode, along with this one. And that'll only really leave 8 and 9 for the next episode, so... Very, very nice. Loads and loads of progress has been made. Give me your bombs. Thank you. And as you can see, now we have 12 bombs in our inventory, which is very, very amazing. And we're gonna wanna get out of this sector right here, pretty much. Move to the other one on the other side of the staircase. Oh no! I screwed up. I screwed up. Oh no. I accidentally killed myself with the flame. No! Alright. No worries. <laughs> we'll just keep going through here, I guess. That was kind of a sad way to die. That's death number two so far. Yeah, it might not be helpful to walk into your flames in this game, because they can indeed hurt you, as you just saw. There's the compass. Now where is the map at? Oh yeah, and these guys bouncing around here, these are Pole's voices, and this is the guy you want to take out with the arrows. You can see, down in one hit. Very nice. But we can't fire any more arrows now, because we're out of rupees. Oh yeah, you can also take those guys out the sword, I guess, too. Um, not a very efficient method, but if you have, like, no arrows, I guess that's an option, too. And this... This is where we're gonna find the boss. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna blow this flute. Separates, or not really, it does separate in future levels. But yeah, I guess there's only one. Now we just gotta kill this guy with our sword. And there we go! There's our new heart. Oh gosh, we're gonna die again if I don't... Oh god, we were almost getting killed by the turrets there, that wouldn't have been nice. There's our new Triforce piece. <laughs> and there's our reason why I need to put the warning at the beginning of every single episode right there. Now we're gonna head on off to level 7. Because screw doing the levels in the right order, that's disgusting and I don't like it. But before we go to level 7, we're gonna go back to level 8 to see if we can get a treasure. Basically, this treasure is the Lion Key and it gives you unlimited keys. And we're gonna run into a dungeon later, i.e. level 9. And possibly level 7 too, I don't know how many locked doors there are in there, but we're gonna go to level 8, try to get the Lion Key, and then, yeah, pretty much, we'll just use the Lion Key now instead of our normal keys, because it's infinite now. Very nice, but it's not going to be easy, because we have a million of those darkness guarding it. And this time they are allied with the fuzzies, which is just splendid. And on top of all that, we only have a blue potion, not a red one, so we're only gonna be able to regenerate our health once. But other than that, I'm sure it'll go fine. All right, so pretty much we're just gonna go northward now. There's another boss in here. It's the same guy we ran into earlier. Can I hit you with my magic wand? Well, that was a major lag spike, but yes I can! Excellent, you're done, my guy. There we go, we'll claim our money. We can blow a hole in this wall right here. This is where things are gonna start to get deadly, I believe. Oh yeah, it's one of these rooms. And the lag, just amazing. Well, we're gonna do this anyways. We're not gonna get killed here. 
At least I would hope not. There's our key. I don't believe it's the room to the right. I believe we got two rooms upward to go to. As you can see, we have another amazing room right here. Oh yeah, these red guys can go down in one hit now, which is amazing. Now this room to the right, I believe, is where we want to head. Here we go, here goes nothing. I won't lie, this big shield right here, this is really coming in handy for fending off all the attacks from the turrets. Anyways, there we go, this should be the room where the staircase is at. There it is. Just avoid, or maybe knock out a few of you guys. Or not, because my sword just got disabled. That's just splendid. Get out of here. You, goodbye. It was nice knowing you, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's not where the lion key is at. Where is this key? Alright, we're gonna try something else. Alright, we're gonna try bombing that wall to the north. Thank goodness there are no enemies in here. Will work. Yes, it will. Okay, that's good. It's a good sign. Another room. Oh yes, we have you, our favorite. There's the map! <laughs> Amazing, okay. There's our map of level 8. That's supposed to be a lion head, believe it or not. This is a Goma right here. We're gonna wanna shoot this guy in the eye with our arrows. This is actually why we couldn't beat the boss in level 6 last episode, because uh, we didn't have the arrow then. But we do now, so die! Alright, let's try this room. If it isn't this room, I don't know what is. Not today, fiends. Also, I don't feel like spending uh, rupees on arrows right now, so... Yeah, you can just go down with my sword. This guy we can actually knock out through the wall, pretty much. There we go. And then, we'll go down here, and there is our prize! Very nice! Not really sure if we have enough energy to, um, beat this place, but, yeah. Level 7 for real this time now, if I can get out of here safely. Oh yeah, and up there now it says key times A. So yeah, I guess that basically means infinite. It does. Not really sure why they chose A and not... I or in not my decision of course I didn't make this game. Did you look at that we actually have enough rupees for a blue potion. Very nice. And there's a fairy pond right near us too. Very nice. Time to use you and your passageways to my advantage. Oh this is we are just really on the ball today. There is a medicine shop right here I believe. So it's either these two blocks or these two blocks. Let's try that. There we go. Then you will give me your potions. Or just one of them. I don't need another one. And now we're officially broke. <laughs> Literally no rupees. But lots and lots of good items. Now, it is time to take on level 6. Which is right up this staircase. Oh, I'm sorry, I said level 7 earlier, but... Hey, we're here. We might as well. So yeah, you know what? I'll get level 7 in this episode. Since I've been saying it so much and not actually doing it, yes. We'll go to level 7 and complete it, hopefully. Unless something horrible happens. Now, last episode, we actually found the area where we need to go for the boss. And that is a couple rooms to our right. Alright, so right in this room to the right is the staircase. It's just hidden right now. We need to defeat all the enemies and then push the block, as per usual. And maybe chug a potion, too, if we get low enough. Uh, those are all gone. We can go down here. It's one of those staircase ones, instead of having the item in here, like we always love to have. This one goes right near the boss. The boss should be in the room just to the right, and I believe it's a Goma, like, um, the last boss. Gotta go down and under, because there's no way they're gonna let us bomb into that room directly without going through all this right here. Alright, and right through this door, there you are. Come here. Get out of here. Look at that, just down in one hit. That boss fight didn't last very long now, did it? Look at that, we have quite the collection of hearts up there now. And quite the collection of Triforce pieces too. Not bad. Actually, if you blow the fairy flute out in the overworld, a tornado will come from the left and it'll take you somewhere. It's probably a dungeon we've already beaten, kind of like level 6, so it just really just took us from level 6 to level 6. That's kind of useless, let's try that again. Level 6 to... Well, I can't remember what- oh yeah, this is level 5. Okay. Uh, could be a little closer. Let's try it again. I believe it goes like one level backwards, so this should go to level 4? Oh, 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 I predicted it! There we go, much better. This is where we want to be, because level 7 is right between levels 4 and 3. It's right in this area, really. So basically, as we all know, the screen above this one has the fairy pond, but if you go to one screen to the left, and then you go one screen up, we got this one right here, this is where level 7 is at, and this is where we use the fairy flute. Which 
basically dries up the lake here, pretty much. I know, very weird. Probably the most uniquely hidden thing in this entire game, honestly. Anyways, let's go. Here we are, it's the same color as level 5. Most creative thing ever. This is home to a lot of Gorias, both red and blue. The red ones will be able to go down in like two seconds, but the blue ones might actually stand a chance. And I also think that this dungeon is the second biggest in the entire game, besides level 9. I think you'll see that once we get the map here. I was just gonna walk by this guy right here, no need to fight you. And in here, I believe, this is something important. We have not seen these skeletons since level 1. Kinda makes you forget they're in the game, actually. Just like how I forgot that Iron Golem was in Final Fantasy, but... Yeah, here we are. I'm gonna see if we can bomb the wall to the right. No, we cannot. Try the one up. Nope. Now this room, in theory, this, we should be able to bomb to the north. And there we go. See, I was right. There's gonna be a huge, huge line of rooms going upward. And right in here, it appears we have a boss that we're just going to avoid, to be honest. Place that bomb right there. We cannot bomb up, so we'll try the room to the left here. Oh, okay, so I guess how is this one room to the west is where the massive collection of rooms is at. And this room, right in here. This is another enemy right here. We can give this guy the enemy bait, and he goes away. We can pass, very nice. Why we can't just kill him, I have no idea. And there's the map. So yeah, that's the sheer size of the dungeon right up there. That is huge. Bigger than level eight, actually. Thank goodness we have this lion key now. Now I think where we want to head is in the tip of the nose, which is the far east there, basically. All right, so we got a room here. It seems to be a dead end, but let's bomb that wall right there. No luck. Bomb this one. Also no luck, so this room is kind of useless. Let's try bombing this room to the west here, because sometimes they do tend to hide stuff. There we go. Okay, so we got some money. Very nice. So yeah, I guess the only other way is if we just go through the eye there, pretty much. So one bomb right here should do the trick. There we go. In here, we have a staircase. That's a good sign. Down here, this is not actually like a, a staircase staircase. It's an item. It's a little red candle and basically um, kind of inferior to the magic wand that we got. But yeah, that'll basically let us set as much fire around as much as we like. So yeah, better than the blue candle because the blue candle only lets you do it once per screen. Grab some bombs and we'll continue heading east. Now, the enemies in here, we're gonna push this, we're gonna push this block. The fuzzies will actually let me do so. We can't push them, that's because the enemies are hiding in the wall. Basically, the enemies are these hands right here, and if they latch on to you, you'll get warped back to the beginning of the level, which is very, very annoying, to say the least. That's why we're gonna keep them a fair bit of distance away here. Uh, luckily we've got the wand, so the fuzzies can't really do much of anything. Let's try pushing the block. There we go, we opened up the passageway. Let's go. And that was a secret in the tip of the nose. Now it seems like we're in a seemingly useless room, but don't worry, this is Zelda, so no room is really useless unless it's a dead end and you can't bomb it, but we are most definitely going to be able to bomb out of this room. I believe the boss is in the room just to the right there, so let's just put a bomb right there. There we go, and behind here, yes, there's the boss. Um, you can't see it yet. There's the boss, we met you in level one. We're gonna get rid of you real quick. There we go, get out of here, you. Got our heart, and there we go. We have all but one heart, and all but one Triforce. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one for our next adventure, wherever that may be. Hoping to get a Birchlands episode out soon, so if you enjoy Minecraft, consider checking that series out. Anyways, love you all. See ya.